Hey there, my name is John, and the name of my channel is My Scamp Travel Trail Adventures. This is Jamie, a 13-foot scamp trailer without a bathroom, and I travel with two small Yorkies, Little Man and Amber. This here is Amber, my female Yorkie, and she's about eight years old, I'd say, but she goes along for the ride all the time. Okay, this is Little Man right here. He's a male. He's about four years old. He's a little bit on the wild side, but overall, he's my baby. Anyway, hope y'all go along and enjoy the video, enjoy my travels, enjoy my adventures. Explore with us, and hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. This is usually my morning road routine. This is what I do in the morning. First of all, I get the babies fed. Blue man. Amber, y'all go eat, y'all go eat your food. They got their little special foods. I'm getting ready to cook me a egg and cheese and ham omelet. Got my coffee going. Sun's out, beautiful day. And this is how I'm gonna start my day and then I gotta hit the library and uh, get rid of this video I've been sitting on for a while and run into town, see what I can find. But this is the start of my day. It's about eight o'clock now. I got up about six, but the babies are eating, so everything's good to go from here on out. Amber, you go eat, baby girl. My baby girl go eat. Little man's over there eating. Yeah. How about Amber? You just go sit there and shake, huh? Little man said, "I'm hungry. I eat, go eat this morning, one piece at a time." Okay, morning breakfast. Pepper, bacon bits, minced onions. Got my eggs over here, my cheese. Throw it all in the pan. It might not look too good, but it really is. And you just mix it all up, and there you go. Let it cook all the way. And I guess to be the same thing as making an egg omelet. I don't know, but I mean, you gotta try different things when you're camping just to. See what you, but that's my morning breakfast right here and probably the mom got french toast i think but that's the way i do it there you go finished product everything's cleaned up get back little man pan's pretty much clean i just that's why i use those blue paper towels because you can just wipe your pans off stuff but got my coffee got my eggs got my little man trying to surf some and got a little amber over there sitting there being amber Amber, he was my pretty girl right here, yeah. But there you go. My morning breakfast. Ready to get it. We're at an engine core engineer campground. We got the whole beach to ourselves. Beautiful. It's easy, cheap camping too. If you got an American Beautiful Pass, it's only nine dollars a night. Or state parks anywhere from thirty-five to fifty, so if you've never heard of the Corps of Engineering, you need to check into it at the end of this video. I'll put a book out that y'all can get an idea of where they are. Almost every state has them, but I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, it's a little bit chilly out here, but we got the whole beach for ourselves. We're just walking along, but for $9, we're only like 20 minutes out of the closest town, which ain't bad, and we're in Mississippi. What are you doing, Abby? They're loving it. I don't think, I know little men have been on the beach before, but got a beautiful view. We're all right there, all by their old losums. Amber's done did something to her, her right front paw, I don't know what. Old little man, he's always looking for food. That's a foodist looking dog. Come here, Amber, come here, baby girl. Come here, baby. That's my good girl. Yeah. That's my pretty girl. Figured I'd take a full walk out on the beach. It's pretty. It's probably about 40 degrees and really super windy. I had to take my um, awning down last night and wind it in because I was afraid it was going to get ripped off. 
like I said, I put on the then this video the book and need to check out these parks because they're they have them in almost every state. And if you have American Beautiful Pass, they usually run at 18 a night, but if you have American Beautiful Pass, you can get them for nine dollars a night, which ain't a bad deal for camping. And they got everything a state park has. I mean, they got showers, they got bathrooms. They got electric, they got water, and they got a dumping station. I don't think this one here has a sewer. But other than that, they have everything. It's a really super nice park. Each campground has everything the state park has. Each one of them has a fire pit, a, a table, a griller over there. Hang your food, water, electric. And I mean, they're not super private because I mean, you're on the edge of a beach, but I mean, there's one across from there and there's one across from me but it's it's just as nice as state park got a playground i took a shower this morning the showers are real nice but i'm on the beach front but they also have them up in the woods if you want to be up in the woods but i guess there's about a hundred campgrounds but overall i'll spend my nine dollars any night compared to 30 or 40. You can go wrong with those prices you really can't